ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of March. James Spann here in the Weather Center. Temperatures rebounding nicely after a chilly start this morning in a very interesting weather system at the end of this week and the beginning of the weekend, everybody's talking about. Let's get right to some shots this afternoon coming off the SkyCam network from uh, downtown Birmingham. We have now gone severe clear, bright sunshine after uh, some early morning clouds. Pretty much the same deal from the Gadsden SkyCam up in Etowah County. The sky's sunny there. And in Demopolis, look at all of the water in that river channel. Uh, the river running high, considering the rains of uh, lately. I uh, haven't seen water like that in a long time coming down the river, but that's good to see. And again, the sky is sunny. Uh, the big system that brought the severe weather uh, early yesterday morning is now uh, off the east coast. You can see a big comma-shaped cloud over New England. We're in between waves, so a nice day today. We expect a very nice day tomorrow. Now, today a little cool. Uh, these are noon temperatures. We've got uh, 40s over North Alabama, 50s down south. We'll be well up in the 50s today, maybe flirting with 60 around Birmingham, but a good chance we go into the upper 60s tomorrow, and some folks over West Alabama might even touch 70. And again, look at the numbers over Canada. I see some 27 below zero values up there, Fahrenheit at midday. And this is March. What? An Arctic winter this has been. QPF map, this is the expected rain across the country. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of uh, one-half inch over much of the state, and this is valid through Monday morning, and this would be the rain that falls Friday and Friday night. And uh, the big question is, who's going to get the snow from that thing? Well, the, the core of the really good snow uh, more than likely will be running from Little Rock and Memphis up to uh, Buffalo, New York, and up into eastern Canada. And that's north of the surface low track. The big question, will we get any snow down here in the wraparound moisture as the storm departs late Friday night and Saturday morning? And again, that outlook is valid from uh, 6 o'clock Friday morning until 6 o'clock Saturday morning. And during the time frame, the same time frame, we got a severe weather risk on day three for South Georgia and North Florida. That would include places like Savannah, Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa Bay, and Daytona Beach. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting storm to watch here. Let's get to the model output. This is the GFS valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Thursday. There's the next Vortmax digging down into uh, New Mexico. At the surface, again, we'll be in good shape, partly sunny and much warmer. Upper 60s likely tomorrow. And we also note that uh, ice and snow over Oklahoma. I see a large part of the uh, Sooner State out there has gone under a winter storm watch. Friday, that thing looks pretty impressive now. We go long wave trough to the west at the surface. We'll go to noon Friday. We'll step you through this thing six hours uh, at a time. This is noon Friday, surface low near Dothan. The uh, What should be the rain snow line is uh, between Muscle Shoals and Memphis. Uh, the heaviest snow there should be north of that blue line. We're going to bump our numbers up on Friday here with the surface low tracking farther north, the highs in the upper 50s with periods of rain. Thunderstorms could be severe down over Florida. Uh, 6 o'clock Friday evening, the surface low moves up to just south of Atlanta around Peachtree City. The uh, uh, rain-snow line moves into northwest Alabama Friday evening at 6 o'clock. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump it to uh, midnight Friday night. And we've got the surface low near Greenville, South Carolina, with the rain-snow line now to Anniston and Atmore. Wow. And then we'll jump it to uh, 6 o'clock Saturday morning. The surface low is uh, up uh, there near Richmond. And that's suggesting windy and cold weather with a few lingering snow flurries early Saturday morning. And then at noon Saturday, the surface low deepens near Atlantic City and New York City, and that looks like a whopper of a snowstorm for the interior parts of the northeast. Uh, that'll be a big mess if you're trying to fly up there on Saturday. But around here, uh, again, as the day progresses Saturday by midday, the flurries will be out of here. So it seems like the main window for snowflakes will be from midnight until about uh, oh, 8 or 9 o'clock Saturday morning. This is the precipitation type. Coming off the GFS, valid uh, uh, at 3 o'clock Saturday morning. And this is suggesting a chance of snow all the way down to Mobile. Now, light snow, understand, nothing all that heavy. But we find that interesting there. 
That's the uh, blue colors. The green, of course, it's uh, rain. And this is the accumulated snow graphic in the upper right. Now, accumulated rain is in the upper left. And you can see the heaviest rain should be uh, down there around Tallahassee. That's suggesting amounts over five inches down there. Wow. And uh, But look at the, the snow accumulation here. That, that's got a bit of a dusting all the way down to Montgomery and Monroeville and almost a Mobile. So I think you have to mention a chance of light snow on the backside of this thing after midnight Friday night into Saturday morning. And I think the idea of a dusting as far south as Birmingham is good. It's hard to be really bullish on a big accumulation for Birmingham and Anniston because of the warm soil and the fact that air temperature should be maybe a degree or two above freezing, but a dusting. And then I think the better chance of accumulating snow would be up over the northeastern corner of the state. Jackson, Marshall, DeKalb, and Madison counties up there. They might get one to two inches up there. And then we go to Sunday and everything's out of here. After a cold morning, we'll warm up. So really interesting to watch what happens here. And then uh, Monday of next week, we're in good shape. There's Tuesday of next week, uh, same deal. We're, we'll leave those days dry. Wednesday, week from the day, here comes the uh, next trough. And then on Thursday, the uh, 13th, the, the core of the trough is passing a little north of us. And accordingly, on this run, the surface low is way up there over the UP of Michigan. Still, that would suggest a good chance of uh, strong storms Thursday of next week. And again, we'll, we'll fine-tune this early next week. We've got uh, over a week before this happens. And quickly, at the end of the cycle, we'll just jump out to the 21st of March. Pretty active flow right over us. And that sure looks active. Active, I think, is the uh, word. Changeable and no dull moments. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.